The science fiction story begins at a time when the condition of our Earth was quite dire. Advanced alien alliances had arrived on Earth, aiming to dominate humans and take all their resources to their own planet. With their technology, these alliances enslaved all humans, taking along with them all the precious items and resources present on Earth. Now, only gold remained on Earth, which the alliances constantly planned to extract from the ground and take to their planet in large quantities. Faced with the advanced technology of the alliances, humans became puppets. However, there were still some groups of humans hiding within tribes. Now, inside one such tribe, a lady named Linda is seen waiting for her husband, Johnny. Actually, Linda's husband, Johnny, went to get some medicine for his sick father. However, he hadn't returned even after a long time, which made Linda worried. The chief of the tribe was telling Linda that maybe her husband wouldn't come back because it's possible that the dangerous alien alliances might have killed Johnny. But Linda didn't believe anyone because she had full faith in her husband. After a while, Johnny returned with the medicine on his horse. But upon hearing the news, Johnny is completely shattered because his father has already passed away. Now, Johnny is feeling very lonely because many years ago his mother had also died and now his father is no more. Linda consoles Johnny, assuring him that they will live their life together. Meanwhile, Johnny goes straight to the chief of the tribe, who says that none of us can find food and drink in this tribe, and if we don't have basic resources, how can we survive? So, Johnny believes that he should leave this place with the tribe and shift somewhere else. But the chief of the tribe says that the army of the alliances is spread all around and if they find out about our hiding place, they won't spare us. But Johnny believes that without resources, they will all die anyway. But the chief says that this is our destiny. And we have to live like this for the rest of our lives. Linda was trying hard to accept everything, but Johnny was not completely accepting it. He was saying that if all of you have to stay here, then stay, but I am leaving to find a good place. However, Johnny's wife, Lynn, makes a lot of effort to stop him, but Johnny was not going to listen to anyone anymore. He sits on his horse and sets off towards the dense forests. After walking continuously for a few hours, Johnny stops his horse to rest for a while. But then suddenly, two tribesmen appear in front of him who wanted to kill Johnny. Both tribesmen were shocked to see Johnny alive and asked him how he was still alive because the alliances had imprisoned more than half of the people on their planet. The tribesmen were telling Johnny that if you are alive, then surely God's hand is in it, who has helped you since the beginning to stay alive. Now Johnny had to see how God looks like, so Johnny shows them a dead animal and tells those two tribesmen that if you take me to your God, then I will give you this to eat. Now, those tribesmen were very hungry, so instead of the animal, they took Johnny to their God. There was a very large idol there, which the tribesmen considered their God. But Johnny could clearly see that these were just puppets. After all, how would gods look in reality? Now, as night fell, Johnny started having a great time eating with those two tribesmen. He talked a lot with them about their way of life. But in the next moment, some aliens arrived at that place and started firing at all three of them. The dangerous aliens caught Johnny and the two tribesmen and started taking them to their planet. Actually, when all these aliens used to come to Earth, they had to install small pipes inside their noses so that they could keep themselves alive in Earth's environment. Similarly, when Johnny and his friends were taken to the alien's planet, the same two pipes were installed in their noses so that they could breathe in the external environment. Now, the aliens land them on their planet and take them out. One of the tribesmen was very scared and tried to escape from there. However, the aliens present there easily caught him. Now, there was also a forceful confrontation with Johnny. He was not going to accept it at all. He picked up an advanced alien gun and fired it at the alien, killing him instantly. For this act, all the aliens caught Johnny. Within a short time, the leader of those aliens, whose name was Del, arrived there. When Del was told by the other aliens that this human had killed one of our alien companions, Del couldn't understand how a normal human could operate our weapons. Del grabbed Johnny by the throat in anger, but then he let go of Johnny and provided him with a gun because he wanted to see how Johnny fired the gun. Johnny, once again, courageously shot another alien, ending the threat. Del seemed quite pleased after witnessing Johnny's ability. He began laughing loudly with his companions. Now, the innocent people who had been imprisoned by the aliens on their planet were shown. They were treated as mere servants by the aliens, and it was evident that the aliens had imported almost everything from Earth to their planet. Meaning, they wanted to destroy Earth in a way and make their planet prosperous. Now, an officer of the aliens arrives at that place, accompanied by Del, who is introducing him to one of his friends. Actually, Den had seen a new planet for his family in the nearby galaxy, so he wanted to shift there after finishing all the work of his alien species there. 
But now, during a meeting, the alien officer tells Dell that they cannot go to their planet so soon. First, they have to extract all the gold from the Earth's land and bring it to this planet. Only then will they be allowed to go to another planet with their family. However, Dell didn't want to do all these things at all. But now, it's the decision of their senior members. Here, Johnny and his friends are shown, who are imprisoned with other humans. Everyone was being provided with a strange liquid diet. Suddenly, a rebellious prisoner comes forward and says, First, I'll eat, and then my friends can eat. Johnny was opposing this statement. That food is for everyone, and because of these reasons, a fight breaks out between Johnny and the prisoner. Until now, no one had managed to defeat that prisoner, but Johnny beats him badly and eventually defeats him. Johnny was telling everyone that if they quarrel over such small things as food, they will never be able to escape from there. That's why we should distribute the food and plan together to escape. That prisoner also understands Johnny's point, so everyone starts living happily by taking their share. Johnny starts to seem like a messiah to them. Now, an alien companion of Dell is shown hiding a strange file, but Dell catches him red-handed. Dell continuously asks the fat alien why he's hiding all these files. Finally, the alien explains that these files include maps that could lead them to extract gold from several caves within the Earth. However, some gases inside the caves could instantly melt the bodies of the aliens, making it very deadly for them to go there. But Dell feels that it's all just an excuse for the alien to keep the gold for himself. Therefore, Dell ends up killing his fat friend and leaves with him. Now, Dell is saying that although they can't go to the alien's planet, the imprisoned humans can go there and dig themselves, right? That's why he takes his fat friend and leaves. And from the very next day, Dell starts teaching Johnny how to operate the spaceship so he can do all their work. Gradually, Johnny's training begins and he starts learning all about alien civilization. The day comes when Dell arrives with Johnny and all his companions in the cave where they had to dig and extract the gold. Dell tells Johnny, I will return here in exactly 15 days, but when I come back, all the gold must have been found, and if not, all of you will be punished. Johnny and all his tribal companions were left on the ground. After that, Dell sits in the spaceship with his alien companions and heads towards his planet. Johnny had already planned all these things beforehand. He had gathered his companions and said, we don't really need to find gold, we just need to make advanced weapons so that when the aliens return, we can gradually advance by eliminating one of their groups. In fact, Johnny had known this from the beginning. Where there is a heavy amount of gold, there's no need for them to dig. When Dell returns, we will return the gold to him there. Then after that, our main mission will begin. Johnny began consistently making a foolproof plan with his tribal members about how to attack the base. Johnny knew of an underground location where the aliens concealed advanced weapons. Therefore, now he proceeds with all his companions without delay. Upon reaching the underground location, they found many advanced weapons. They had never seen so many advanced weapons before. After keeping all the items with them, Johnny's attention falls upon a nuclear bomb. This nuclear bomb was extremely powerful. Johnny tries to learn how to operate this nuclear bomb, which could be used against the aliens. Despite trying very hard, Johnny couldn't understand how it would work. Then, one of Johnny's companions turns on the projector, and all the techniques to activate the nuclear bomb were included in that projector. He told Johnny all the things that helped him succeed in activating the nuclear bomb. Now, Johnny's friend says that he himself will go and blast the nuclear bomb on the planet of the aliens because if something happens to you, then who will guide all these people? Johnny feels proud seeing the courage of his friend. Now, the next day, Dell comes near the cave to check everything to see if Johnny and his companions are working or not. As soon as Dell arrives, Johnny gives him some gold taken out from the cave, which were in the shape of bricks. However, Dell began to have some doubts. Now, Dell didn't mean any profit, so he didn't say anything to Johnny and his friends. Now, when it's nighttime, Johnny keeps provoking Dell against them. After getting all the gold, Dell won't give any peace to you because he was only thinking about his own benefits. Along with this, Johnny told Dell's friend that he had recorded your conversation, so he's blackmailing you. But I promise to delete that recording and provide you with gold, but in return, you have to set us all free from here. After thinking a lot, Dell's friend gets ready to help Johnny. He freed all the people from the alien settlement, so now Johnny was ready with his entire army to attack the aliens. Now, he had also gone to save his wife Linda. But within a short time, Dell and his companions find out that all the humans have revolted against them, so he orders to kill them all. But until then, those tribal people had already started chaos at the aliens' base. They were blasting everywhere to disturb the aliens' army so they couldn't get a chance to attack fully. 
Johnny and his team's plan was to destroy this big base of aliens first so that they won't be able to use all their powers and weapons. All the tribal people are busy doing this. Johnny's friend had already gone inside with a very large bomb. Johnny was also about to blast the bomb when Del suddenly comes and catches Johnny, beating him like dogs. Despite the blast, the alien base doesn't get completely destroyed. Now, some tribal people had taken the alien spaceship and jumped onto their base, starting cracks on their base. Johnny's friend, who had a big bomb, was watching. He went in front of many aliens and blasted the bomb, causing a huge explosion and now their alien base was completely shattered. There was a fierce battle between Dell and Johnny in which Dell was dominating and not giving Johnny a chance to attack, but before Dell could kill Johnny, many of Johnny's companions activated the nuclear bomb and fired on the alien's planet, causing such a huge explosion in the universe that the entire planet of the aliens was destroyed. The army of aliens present there, which was ready to attack, was also completely finished. That is, Dell's entire power had shaken, but in this explosion, many of Johnny's tribal companions had sacrificed their lives. Within a short time, all the tribal people gather because they have defeated the aliens. Due to the drastically reduced quantity of the aliens, they couldn't dominate humans anymore. Johnny and all his companions had imprisoned Dell, questioning him repeatedly about why he attacked. Dell was confined like a slave, unable to dominate anymore. Then Johnny explains that he won't kill Dell but will make him experience things the way they experienced injustice at the hands of humans. Later, one of Dell's companions arrives with a gun and tells Johnny to do whatever he wants with Dell. He refuses to work for traitors like Dell and leaves. Dell is left imprisoned in a cave surrounded by gold, his punishment which he would have to endure for the rest of his life. In this way, our adventurous story comes to an end here. Let me know how you liked the story in the comments section and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more entertaining videos. Goodbye until next time.